Welcome to your Holistic Healing Moment. I'm Ruth Kramer, I am your Holistic Soul Healer. And we are out here in the woods, um, helping you to experience your first step to your 10 steps of freedom. So in this first step, we're gonna look at where you've been, or perhaps in your past. Maybe your path looked something like this. Maybe it still does. Maybe you're stuck in the woods and you're in a path that's a bit untrodden. Maybe you're carrying twigs of the past that don't help you. Maybe you've got beautiful cones, maybe they're fragrant and scented. Maybe they're big, full of joy. Maybe they're little, full of challenge, who knows? You know, somewhere in you, you know what you're carrying and what's happening in your life. Our intention is for you to look at where you've been and the child within you who definitely needs to be acknowledged by the person that you've grown into. So there's three selves, there's the child self, there's the person you are right now, and then there's your higher self. Our goal in these 10 steps is to bring all three together to help you communicate where you've been, where you are, and where you can go. It doesn't mean you have to go there, but it's lovely to have that choice. So perhaps you've been here, maybe it's bare, maybe it's a bit barren, maybe it's a pathway that's full of, of crannies and holes and places where your footing gets a bit stuck. Maybe there's a flowing piece of water in your past, but the child within deserves to come with you on this journey of enlightenment, acceptance and love. So we want you to travel where you've been. We want you to take a look as an observer at the participant who has participated in life. Maybe you started out in this area in life and it wasn't so beautiful. Maybe it was barren, it was wintry, it was cold and it was bare. And maybe that wasn't really your ultimate choice. It might have been a lesson, a gift for you. But understanding the lesson and understanding the gift is the only thing you need to take with you. You do not need to take the barren emptiness, the harshness and the toughness of that lesson. You can take the gifts and take it with you and let it help you to be on your path right here and right now. So we start to move forward into the future, into the present. And in order to do that, we have to understand where we've been. We have to know our footprints. We don't have to stare across our shoulder, but we do have to look back and see where we've walked and what that's taught us in becoming the person we are now. Because make no mistake, where you've been helps you into who you are right now, this day. And from this day forward, you can have movement rather than stagnation where you might feel stuck and trapped. And the only thing that unsticks you is the understanding. So let's start to move forward a little bit. And then the path that opens up for you is a path of discovery, self-discovery. And we have some places for you to go that will help you to discover who you are. We have some tips, we have some lead ways, we have some places for you to follow as an observant and a participant. Our intention is for those two places to come together so that instead of just participating in life, you also become the observer, which is someone who's non-reactive. It's someone who sits in a higher state of grace and awareness that consciously takes you to where you wish to go when you start to walk into your dreams, your hopes, the future that you desire. And the only way to do that is to be the observer and the participant because the observer sits in a higher place of understanding. So as you open up that path, you might ask, well, how do I do that? What do I have to do? But this is about you. So this is your time. And how we get to do that is here are some of the steps that we want you to take. So this is step one, this is about you. Who are you and what do you want? Well, in order to find out who you are, we first have to bring the child within you and understand who that was. What was that child's dreams and hopes and wishes? Did they want to be an astronaut? Did they want to be a famous chef? Did they want to be a teacher? Did they want to be a homemaker and look after beautiful children with a wonderful um, husband or wife? What did you want as a child? And how did those wants translate to where you are today? Did we let go of the dreams? Were they a balloon that left and floated off and we, we haven't connected to them since? Did we have creative juices flowing through us that we shut down? What did you shut down and what have you kept open? Take a look at where you've been and start to journal that. Start to journal, who was I? What child was I? What were my dreams? What were my hopes? What were my ambitions? How do I get to live those now? Am I living those now or did I leave them behind? So take a look at where you've been and start to journal. So the places we want you to journal are morning and night and then in highly triggered and very emotional places like sadness, 
joy and anger. Those are very powerful places for you. And as an observer, when you observe how that mood is and how you're feeling, and what you're eating and drinking to substantiate that feeling, you'll start to notice that you're consciously stepping into your life and not just doing things because that's what you do. So when people say, this is just who I am, it isn't. Just who we are is a conscious decision in every single waking moment. And our goal is to help you to become more conscious in every waking moment so that you make informed and conscious decisions for yourself that are beautiful for you. So that you can start to really choose your life and not let life sweep you along unwittingly because that's where we feel out of control. So we're going to start to walk forward into the future. We're going to start to step you onto your path and allow you to experience a path that might not be quite so difficult as maybe where you've been. It might be more open. That doesn't mean there isn't obstacles. You can see stones on your rocky path. You can see a gate at the end that you have to go through. Those are just simply life lessons. But how we approach those life lessons, the attitude and our example of bringing the past and the present into the future will help us to move forward in a more extraordinary way. So it's your job to now start to look at who am I and where have I been and how is where I've been helping me to become who I am right now and how is who I am right now helping me to become who I wish to be in the future and the future is here every day. Right now we are standing at the edge of your future right this minute. So what are we creating in the next few moments? What are we creating every day in every week of the next few weeks? So journal, write down, what am I creating today? Who am I right now? And actually, what do I want? And how am I taking the steps necessary to start to enjoy and experience what I really want? Because life was supposed to be lived. It's supposed to be tasted. It's supposed to be enjoyed. It's not just an endurance test that we have to get through every day. It's supposed to be an enjoyable, extraordinary experience where we learn and grow our humanness to meet the spirit that's always waiting for you. There is a spirit that has the highest regard for you, the highest love for you, that you need to connect to. And the best way to connect is to lift your spirits up and to walk forward onto this extraordinary path that's always waiting for you with the very best and highest intention for you. So I am Ruth, your holistic healer, your holistic soul healer, and I am here to guide you in the next 10 weeks. This is week one. During the course of this week, I want for you to journal morning and night. I want you to check in and check in every day and see where the child is every day. Where is that child? Did we leave them behind or are they with you on this journey? And why did we leave them behind if we did? Are they locked up? Or are they out? Are they with you, beside you, or are they ahead of you? Are they behind you? Where are they? Where are you? Where is your present? And how do you get to your future unless you're standing with where you are right now consciously and with awareness? So this is your step one. This is about you and about what you want or what you desire and about creating it and attaining it, seeing it, believing it, feeling it and achieving it, but not just as the participant, you have to also be the observer so that you can be in the director's chair of your life and not in the thick of the drama. Because if you're in the thick of the drama, you are not directing your life. So we want you to be both. You can't not be the participant because you're wearing a body. But you can be the observer even while you're the participant. So come with me on this journey. Let's do this together. This can be really fun and it will not hurt you. You don't have to give up anything you love. This isn't a diet of misery. This is a journey of excellence. This is your journey. So let's go together. So for the next week, you're gonna journal morning and night, and you're gonna tell us, send your comments to us. Tell us how you're doing. Let us track it with you. Come with us on this. We're gonna do this together. This is your beautiful journey of life. So you're with Ruth, the holistic soul healer, and we're on this beautiful 10 steps to your freedom so that you can experience manifesting your life with actual physical steps that you can take to create that manifestation. It's real, it works, I'm so glad to have you with me.